Hi there, I'm Michael Underwood, dad of two and celebrity MasterChef finalist, and welcome to my Scoff Food series, Cooking for Kids. Today, I'm hiding veg again, you know I love it. We're doing butternut squash fritters. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but uh, butternut squash was always a bit intimidating, so I never really bought one, because I just thought, well, what do you do with it? Uh, until I found this recipe and gave it a little tweak of my own. Butternut squash fritters are really easy to do, really simple, and like all the food that I've cooked for Scoff, it's very tasty. So, uh, first thing you need to do is take your butternut squash and cut it into four pieces. Once you've done that, give it a good seasoning. Place them on a baking tray, give them a brush with some olive oil, uh, and then sprinkle salt and pepper, you can put some mixed herbs on there, even a bit of ground cumin as well adds a nice taste to them, and then bake them in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Make sure you check though with a knife when it gets to about 40 minutes. You want them to be really soft and tender, so if there's not enough give there, give them another 10 or 15 minutes in the oven until they're just about ready. And there you go all nicely roasted and ready to go. So let them cool down just for a little bit, and then what you can do is mix everything together in a large bowl. All the ingredients go in here, give them a good old mix up, and then we're gonna fry it. Now one thing to say is, butternut squashes obviously come in very different sizes. Uh, you may have a large one, you may have a small one. Depending on the size of your squash will depend on how much of the other ingredients you're gonna need, and will depend on how the actual mixture ends up. So uh, I'll make mine, I'll show you what I go for, and then you can sort of vary it as you wish. So first things first, Let's cut that through. And then all you can do really is take the skin off. And you can see it sort of peels fairly easily. You can use a knife, <laughs> slightly less messy. So we just dump that in, and we're just gonna cut that up in the bowl. Just a chunk, so we're gonna mash up shortly. Once all your butternut squash is in the bowl and chopped up, you can start to add the rest of the ingredients. So uh, we'll start with the cottage cheese. Again, we need a nice, generous amount of this. I'm going to add the flour now, so just pop that in, and crack an egg. And then a bit of seasoning, so got some mixed herbs I'm going to throw in there, a little bit of cumin, a bit of pepper too, and some salt. Then you simply want to mash it all up. Now at first, what you're going to find is it looks really dry, or it appears to be really dry, but surprisingly, after a few mashes, it then starts to get quite soft, quite gloopy, which is great, and that's the consistency you want. If you do find, even after a good bit of mashing, it's still dry, then maybe add a little bit more cottage cheese, or maybe a touch more egg if you want. Sometimes if your squash is that little bit too large, you're going to need something to help the texture. But I'm really pleased with this. And the last little thing you want to put in is some herbs. I'm going to use chopped parsley, which I think is really nice. Uh, and then just add that straight into the mix. So I've just got some rapeseed oil in here. A little bit different, I just think olive oil, rapeseed oil, I like to mix it up every now and again. Also, I quite like the flavour that rapeseed oil gives it as well. Um, I've got quite a generous amount in there. I find that if you don't use enough oil, when you go to put these in, they burn really quickly and they sort of, when they make contact with the bottom. So if you have a little bit more oil, it just means that they're less likely to burn as quickly. Uh, so let's give it a go. Let's get some in there. Get a good amount on your spoon and scoop it through this way. Just a rough shape. So again, what you're looking for is for them to have a nice golden color on the bottom. Just lift them up every now and again and see, and then flip them over and do the same on the other side. And then all you need to do is keep cooking them in batches until all the mixture's been used up and they're done. And then once they're cooked, just put them to one side on a little bit of uh, kitchen roll, something like that. Something that just absorbs the fat, takes all that away. You don't need any unnecessary fats in there. And there you have it, a lovely little tower of butternut squash fritters. I've served these with just a little sprinkling of cheese on the top, also a little bit of parsley as well. I've served it with some rocket leaves, but you could serve it with a full side salad or have them on their own, or maybe just some veg on there as well. But perfect, lovely little dish and really quick to do. Mm -hmm.